Uh, we learned uh, a great deal about the three uh, people who were convicted earlier this week here at Nottingham Crown Court. All of the defence teams accept that their clients are facing very severe prison sentences for those six counts of manslaughter each that they've been convicted over. Mick Philpot, his wife Maraid and their friend Paul Mosley. And Mick Philpot very much being portrayed as a family man, a good father, his defence team said yesterday, someone who uh, has not even had time to grieve or been able even to attend the funeral and bury his own children. That, I have to say, was somewhat at odds with the obscene gestures Mick Philpot was making from the dock as he was being led away at the end of the session yesterday towards members of Maraid Philpot's family who were uh, heckling him from the public gallery. Uh, there has been some very bizarre behaviour throughout the, uh, the, the entire run of this trial and indeed before that in the days after the trial. We know, after the fire itself, we know, of course, Mick Philpot um, offered to uh, marry one of the police officers he was dealing with. He also got one of them in a headlock at one stage behind the scenes away from the cameras. Very strange indeed, and he is, of course, someone who has been uh, reviled. An awful lot of comment been passed on Mick Philpott in the last couple of days. Today it will be Mrs Justice Thurwell, the judge in this case, who will have the final word on what sentence he, his wife and his best friend will face. That's